y'all welcome back to my channel all things jesse hope you're all having a wonderful day so today y'all we're going to be getting my whole house clean today the last two days i have been dealing with a migraine and y'all i just not i just couldn't do a whole lot i tried i did get some cleaning done but i just couldn't get it all done so i just had no choice but to leave it i woke up today without the migraine thank god but we ended up going shopping. My husband was off today for the holiday. So we decided to get up, go shopping in the morning. So I didn't get my normal morning cleaning done. So guess what? It's five o'clock in the evening now. My husband and my son are outside, um, you know, doing some manly stuff with the four wheelers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be inside. I have the house all to myself. I'm gonna go ahead and play some music and get some cleaning done. I'm going to be cleaning my whole house. I'll show you some of that and I'll show you exactly what I got. I got some stuff from Walmart and from Burling Pen that I cannot wait to put out. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get cleaning. If you've got cleaning to do, get up, clean with me. And if y'all are ready, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So I am in my bedroom starting out. Right now, I'm working on socks. My husband um, likes these work socks. So they're just a big old package. I'm going to go ahead and get those ready to be put in his drawer. Usually, I wash everything that we get, but I decided to not wash these socks. It'll be fine. He's just going to be wearing them to work. It's okay. And then I realized his sock drawer is actually really full, not because there's matched socks, because there's a lot of unmatched socks when I do laundry that I still just put in there. So I went ahead and started getting out all of the matched and um, I put the rest in a bag. That way he can just go through it and if there's anything he wanted to keep, he could keep. If any, And then we could just get rid of the rest because this drawer only holds so much. So um, that's what I'm doing here. But I'm just going to keep on working in my bedroom. So I have clothes everywhere as you can see. So I was actually trying to work on laundry yesterday whenever I had the migraine and I've just only got so far y'all I got as far as um, getting everything folded but I couldn't get anything put up so I needed to stop so I put everything on the dresser and just let it be for the time because if you had a migraine um, you know what they're like like every any slight movement just makes it so much worse so I was surprised to even get as much as I did done um, so yeah y'all so now I'm just gonna go ahead and make my bed and just continue working in my room getting everything all cleaned up because it is a really messy room your first time here I hope you're enjoying the video so far if you enjoy the homemaking and cleaning content as well as like makeovers DIY projects and furniture reviews be sure to hit that subscribe button that way you get notified every time I upload new videos I would love to have you here with me so here I am I'm working on my dresser now so these are all the clothes that just got piled there because I needed them off the bed just to lay down in bed and relax so yeah, that is what I'm doing now. Gonna get everything put where it goes, get all of the um, dressers cleaned off, the vanity cleaned off, and just get it all nice and clean. So now I'm going to go ahead and move all of these books 
I have decided to go ahead and put them down here on my nightstand. I have this little cubby. That way they'll be out of the way because just sitting on my dresser just looks so cluttered and I do not like the cluttered look. I don't even know why I have the books, y'all. I don't never read because every time I start reading, I'll end up daydreaming, thinking about something else, and I can just never get into books. But those are just my favorite movies that I got the books on. And hopefully, if I ever decide to start reading, those would be the books that I start with. So that's why I guess I have them. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue putting up all of these clothes. So I have um, some clothes here that I just needed to go ahead and put on hangers. I'll get those put away. Um, also have a load of my husband's uniforms that I need to get put on hangers as well. I'll get all of that put away and start working on the floor. I need to get this floor clean too, just give it a good vacuum. Um, but before I get to that, I want to go ahead and switch out my purse. So if you've seen one of my last videos, um, I did get a purse in and this is just actually a dupe of a Louis Vuitton purse. And no, I just don't care for it. Not because it's a dupe or anything. It's a very a well made and a very beautiful purse. It's just not my style and it's just too small for me. And I just love the style of my Speedy and these fossil bags. And I just recently bought this fossil and I haven't used it yet. So I decided to go ahead and get it out of my closet, cut the tags off and put it to use. So I am already doing a giveaway on some purses. So if you've seen that video, um, then you know, but I will eventually do another giveaway and this will be one of the purses that's going to be on the giveaway, um, or might be the only purse depending on what purses I have left. Um, but yeah, it's a very beautiful purse. If you don't mind the dupes, this will be a really good, um, purse for you. It is very beautiful. So anyways, I'm just trying to get this charm off without scratching the purse. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move everything on over to my new purse and um, yeah, I really love this fossil purse. If you like the fossil purses, comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. I love the uh, Rachel and the Sydney. This one right here is the Sydney. And then um, I also had a Rachel. It was all brown leather that I ended up washing and messed it up. So um, I will be repurchasing that one eventually. And I also like the mini rider, but I've never gotten one. So just because it's more of a stiff purse and I don't like those types. So anyways. I know I always talk about purses even though it's a cleaning channel, but hey, I'm a female anyways. I love my purses. So, go tackle the vanity now. Just get this cleaned up because it's been a little while since I've showed it some attention. So, I'm gonna clean the mirror, just wipe it down, and just get it all cleaned up. bedroom is now all nice and clean I just love when my bedroom is clean y'all because my room can sometimes be the last spot in the house that gets attention so I just love when my room is all nice and clean now we're gonna go ahead and move on right into the living room so I can go ahead and work in here and get it all tidied up as well
So I went to Burlington today, y'all. I went to Walmart. I went to Dollar Tree. I found some stuff. I didn't get a whole lot. Okay, I didn't get a whole lot of decor, but I did get some stuff because I'm working on projects. So I just got the guineas. I got some sandpaper, some paintbrushes, tape. Um, I'm gonna be working on some home projects soon. Y'all know about the dining table. I mentioned that in my last video, but. I'm also going to be doing another makeover um, somewhere else in the house. So when we went to Walmart, we seen these and we thought these were super cute, y'all. These were like seven something a piece. And I thought these would be really cute for outside uh, next to my steps on the front porch. You may see my son going around. He is riding around the, the house in the yard on his four wheeler. So the next thing I got from Burlington, this was $14.99, and I thought this was so cute. I love having different ones to change out for the season, and this one was so cute. Already the farmhouse theme with the buffalo check. I thought this was so um, my style, so I went ahead and picked this up. I do plan on making um, a really nice big one for like everyday use, so um but I haven't gotten around to it yet, so this one will be really cute. Um, the next thing that I got from Burlington, y'all, was this wreath. I was needing something cute to put on my door. Not loving the bow, but I can review the bow and put something cute there. But I thought this was cute, and it would look really cute on my door. Um, how much was this? This was $16.99. They did have some full wreaths, too. Um, those were like $29.99. They were really cute, um, but I just really like this one better. So I've never had a wreath that was like just these, you know, wood wood stems and, you know, just halfway. I've always had like the full wreath. So I wanted to do something a little different. So I really like that. And then when I went to Dollar Tree, y'all, I had to go and get like a couple things for my son for school. I got him like a dry erase board and some markers because he's in fifth grade and they are working out, you know, a lot of math problems and stuff. And he hates y'all like working out math problems on paper. And I'm like, you have to, you cannot just work these problems out in your head. Like even though he knows how to do the, the math, like he's trying to build them in his head and he's getting the wrong answer because he's not actually, you know, writing them down. So I told him he needs to start writing them down and a way to get him to do that to kind of encourage him about the dry erase marker. Um, board with the markers board. So I've seen this and I wanted to get it. I wanted to do a DIY of these a while back, but I never did. But this was really cute. It was only five bucks. I don't like the red, of course, um, but I am going to paint this and make it my style to fit in my home. And I thought this would be really cute in my bedroom somewhere um, or in the office or next to my vanity. I'll find a perfect spot for it. I, I don't know if I want to get another one. I just decided to just try one right now and see how I like it. Um, but I thought it was super cute. And it's a, you know, a great size and it's very well made for $5. So I'm excited to do a makeover on this and see how this is going to look. But yeah, y'all, this is um, all that I got as far as like decor or anything for my house. I was wanting to go to, um, go thrifting today but I didn't get to go thrifting because we had so much to do and y'all we were gonna get some rain we were finally so excited we got some rain last night we had a chance for some rain and the radar was showing that it was coming towards us that it would go away that it was coming that it would go away and then finally it hit and y'all we were outside getting much needed yard work done and cleaning up the yard and you know taking care of the chicken coops and cleaning up the coops and stuff like that and did some weed eating y'all we we took advantage of the nice coolness because you know it's still hot we've had like you know a week of some good weather where it's not as hot and humid but it's gone back up to being humid and hot and it's just like but definitely ready for some fall weather here. So I'm basically gonna go ahead and go outside. I gave my son a haircut the other day and I have not cleaned up the hair or the chair. I ended up getting a migraine y'all and I just had to leave the mess. So I'm gonna go out there, clean up the front porch really quick and get it all nice and cozy. I'm not gonna put up any of these decorations yet y'all because I'm still working on some other pieces that I wanna add to the front. 
I don't, I'm not decorating for, um, what is it? Halloween. I'm not decorating for Halloween, so the fall I'm going to keep out until Thanksgiving. I'll switch those out right before Christmas. So, um, so I'm not going to do the Halloween. I just never been into doing the Halloween, but I love fall and I'm going to keep it up for as long as I can. So I'll keep fall up until Thanksgiving and then either Thanksgiving day or the day after I'll go ahead and start the decorating for Christmas and get everything put up. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and go onto the front porch. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On the bed by night This or This or This or that headed back in I'm in the kitchen I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher really quick go ahead and get it turned on and get my counters and my sink cleaned off really good not used to this no I'm not I better let myself give in to love believe in us no matter what it does to my heart not used to this no I'm not it was like if we were to waste these moments the light poets to me
cannot wait until I start redoing this table. So I have been a setback a little bit on the makeover. And some of the items are going to be shipped. So I'm just having to wait a little bit longer, y'all. But I will get started on it soon. I also have another bigger makeover that I'm going to be working on, which I cannot wait. But my house is now all clean. I just love having a nice, clean house, y'all. I hope you enjoyed today's whole house clean with me. And it gave you lots of cleaning motivation. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all on the next one. All right. Bye, y'all.